Welcome back to the Josh and Vic show. We run this channel now. We're running it and we promised you hard informational video. And I've got one from one of my favorite channels on YouTube. And I don't actually even know how to pronounce it. Kyrgyzstak. Oh, There's probably a video on the channel. Kyrgyzstak. But anyway, it's called Why Aliens Might Already Be On Their Way To Us. And I love these videos. You guys should hit up the channel. Existential crisis vibes. Let's go. Oh, actually, is this okay for you? I think this is okay. Yeah, 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 it's fine. You back yourself against zombies. Zombies? Aliens. I mean, okay. Do I? Both. Both. Yeah, I think you back yourself. Mm. All right, let's get it. The universe is magnificent and vast. Oh, yes, give me right. that. Hundreds of billions of galaxies, trillions of stars, and even more planets. And you clowns think we're the only intelligent species in them. <laughs> If we are, it's actually really sad. But yeah. maybe it's the first. Yeah, we could be the first. Yeah, I mean, that's the Fermi paradox. That's a whole nother fun, fun time. Is that another paradox where you said that someone uh, someone hits a level and they then they if wipe themselves out or... Yeah. yeah. So no, that's not the Do first. You... That's yeah. more so no, that no, no one's gone past that level. There's three reasons that we haven't seen other life. Oh, true, yeah. One, one concept is that we're the only intelligent life form in the whole universe. That exists or the only currently. life form at all. Two, that... Life forms always reach a point where they don't go beyond multi-planetary mm -hmm. for whatever reason. It's just really, whether they kill um, themselves in a process or they don't get the technology. Three, there's a uh, like an uh, there's aliens that go around and kill other species before they get too smart because they, they don't just want they control. They nerf everyone. They control yeah. it. Yeah, they were just like actually you lot left your planet. They are the like, protectors of the universe. Too much. Maybe they're like, maybe yeah, they're just... like guardians of the universe that actually say you know what lads, yeah. you're going too far, doing too much. There's another concept that we're in like a conservation zone. We're like in a like a nature reserve in the universe, and they're just like you know let them do their thing. They're quite let them nice. Work on their own stuff down there. You know they're fine. We don't need to go and mess with their their stuff. Just let them let them exist. So actually, yeah. We're that, one, that one kind of makes you feel at ease a little bit, a bit wholesome. Yeah. And another kind of spin on that is that alien life is like so much more intelligent than us. They just don't care that we're, we're there. Just, we're, just, we're basically yeah. like ants to them. Yeah. Or bacteria yeah, right. to them at that point, really. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's another, I've summarized an entire video on Kyrgyzstan before we even started a video. So you get <laughs> two for one. I'm like that AI um, video summarizer. <laughs> Chat GPT, thing. Nick GPT. If even the tiniest fraction are habitable, then the universe should be teeming with life. And yet we see nothing, only vast emptiness. It's gonna be it, Vic. Where is oh, no. everyone else? It's gonna be it. The answer to this riddle could be as nice exciting it as it way. is creepy. We are early, born oh, Vic, before almost it? all other life. But very soon, this gonna, may change. Vic is gonna be it. Not only might aliens appear, they could quickly surround us. An irreversible competition for the universe might quite cool. be about to begin. Yeah. Yeah, oh, what a channel this is. This is this is cold. This is this might be my favorite YouTube channel. What's your name, though? This video is based on scientific yeah. papers. We're presenting interesting ideas based on little data and lots of extrapolation. So take them with a grain of salt. Okay, we need to look at three essential questions to understand the galactic competition. One, how fast can bacteria build spaceships? To become a star-faring civilization, life as we know it needs to master a number of very hard steps. It starts with dead stuff turning yeah, into the building Elon blocks Musk. of life. Then it needs to organize into self-contained cells. Those cells have to learn to work together it's to form multicellular organisms. Yeah, this keeps going until complex creatures with big brains learn to use tools and language. So like you skip a lot of steps there. We're skipping a lot of steps. We're going to yeah, the way up. Yeah, progress too long. and technological yeah. development, and then they need to actually venture out beyond their home planet. On Earth, life appeared basically as soon as the oceans formed, but then it took two billion years to make the step from single cells to multicellular That's organisms, crazy. and two billion more for us. Look at the acceleration here. process. Culture, yeah. civilization, We're and space travel developed super quickly, though. Do things always take that long, or was this actually exceptionally fast? Also, yeah. passing one step does not mean the next one is guaranteed. Multicellularity evolved over 25 times independently on Earth, but there's only one species that builds spaceships. We don't know how many steps That's life close. needs to pass and mm. how long they take to give rise to a technological civilization, but there are probably many and it's likely that on trillions of planets, life has been trying for billions of years. Since yeah. we don't see any other technological civilizations out there, 
it might well be that we are a rare exception. That's crazy, you know. If there is just loads of life and we are the most intelligent of all of it, and instead all we do is react to unusual memes <laughs> and kill each other and destroy our planet, that's I'm, actual depression. I was just thinking about that, right? So, see, uh, obviously, there's other animals on the planet that have had the same process we've had. Yeah, like, they just don't make it. They yeah, mean, like, they don't make it. So, is it not also arguably just as likely for one of the current animals on this planet to evolve to the level that we're at and build spaceships, arguably. It just, it, but it might take another two billion years. But it's they possible, say like it's, but it's very possible. They, they, there's, there's theories that in the deep, deep ocean, there's octopus that developed just as fast as we did. And they realized that actually we're all scum and we eat them. And they were like, you know what, we will hide away. There's. There's like there's theories that in the why deep they, dark why, why ocean, they feel they just hide away? Why they attack us? Because they don't they don't they don't because they, they probably hate they could hate us and they and they think we'll just try and kill them. Maybe they're like smart but not as smart as us. Or maybe they're smarter than us and they're actually like you know what let them do their thing up there. Maybe the ocean's way forward. Now. Maybe they know that. Maybe they know the ocean's way forward. Yeah. I like or the theory that there's they, like um, yeah. a layer of like let's say was it like nitrogen or something in the in the ocean where there's a whole layer beneath. You know what I mean? Like there's a visible ocean and there's yeah. a whole layer beneath that. Yeah. It's like it's what you see like a megalodon film, you know, like they, un they like leave leave a hole in the whatever it's called. Yeah, they could have like one tunnel at like some deep trench, and they all just live down there, and they're like humanly smart. Octopus. They might have a spaceship down there. Yeah, or maybe they're just as smart as us, but they can't communicate with us, and they just don't want anything. To but then again, you would think that in an intelligent population, enough of them would be brave enough, and yes, yeah, so there'd be no, there'd be, even then a rebellious out. one would exist. Yeah, and and he would come and. But maybe that's where like urban myths of like uh, deep sea weirdness. Yeah, that's, that's some quite good urban myths on deep sea creatures. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's. I'm looking forward to a pig take making a spaceship, mate. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. A dolphin. <laughs> I don't think I'd go on that one. A dolphin spaceship would be quite good. Mm -hmm. They're pretty smart. We might be among the first, or even the first, technological civilization in the Milky Way. But this is just one piece of the puzzle. On top of that, we may have just hit the perfect time window. Why does humanity exist now? This is deep, man. The universe is already 13.8 billion years old, but it's unlikely that many other technological civilizations had a chance to appear before us. Because in the earlier universe, life would have had a pretty hard time to emerge, let alone thrive, because it was such a hostile environment. Mm. Early stars constantly blew up, galaxies crashed into each other, and Could start again. massive black holes vomited massive amounts of radiation, enough to sterilize galaxies over and over again. Our sun was born right at the end of this cosmic death show. The universe has never- Sun, sun did it like our parents dropped in, dropped in at a good time, <laughs> dropped in in the golden <laughs> ages before the internet, <laughs> but when with enough electricity to, and fossil fuels. It, my my existential here. crisis is beginning, but it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> It's, no, this is good, this is good, this is good, because it means we're not that important, which is important to know. ...have been more welcoming to life than it is now. So humanity has arrived at a very convenient spot in time, maybe the earliest reasonably possible for life to thrive. What about the future? The sun burns brighter than 90% of the stars in our galaxy and will keep getting brighter. In about a billion Good years, job, it will boil all of Earth's oceans and then I'm become not, a giant. Okay, okay. Hey. So, hey. in hey. the galactic Relax. context, the sun is very short lived. Most stars are red dwarfs that can sustain habitable planets for tens of trillions of years. Life on these planets has an incredibly long time window to appear and pass the hard steps. Even knowing nothing about how rare or common life is, exist this makes else, it though. way more likely for technological civilizations to appear sometime in the. F That's what they say. They're like, "What is scarier? If it exists elsewhere, or it, it doesn't, doesn't yet. exist? Yeah, I like, or it just doesn't at all. Like the only living stuff is on Earth. The entire rest of the universe is just so us being us being first is a nicer thought process. Yes, other things, uh, other things yeah. existing out there. We've yet to yeah, come into. Yeah, yeah, it's kind yeah, of scary because yeah. so it's not so special and finite that. But it's still so scary though because it's like the it. unknown, but also potentially exciting yeah. because that could lead to crazy things happening. But it has to be like hopefully good. Yeah, nah, it's, it's, this is deep, deep level stuff. We're only four minutes thirty in. Because aliens could be great, well, you know. Because if civilizations appear Wait, one and two, mate, let's go. Milky Way within a time yeah. window of a trillion years, then very few, if any, would appear before today. 
Then a couple more arrive in this period of a billion years that we're in before all star-faring civilizations that could ever... That's when you get Star Wars. That's the Literally. plot line for Star Wars right there. <laughs> At that point right there is happening. ...exist, emerge altogether. This weird tsunami-like distribution is the result of both the hard steps model and something else. A sort of deadline for any spacefaring civilization. Any civilization coming after will find it hard to have room to survive, so all potential life has to cram in before it. Humanity right. exists now because otherwise we might have missed this deadline. What or who creates this deadline? That's a one, one, one of them will do it. Already on Earth? Humans are curious, expansionist, and hungry for energy. That's a good point, yeah. What if aliens aren't curious? What if they don't care? They're just, There's they're just another killing machines. really good theory. There's another good, really good theory is that once they are able to harness all of the energy of a star, they upload themselves to the cloud. And they just don't... Why would they need to explore the universe? When why do they, they upload themselves like, to the cloud? They're on their own digital system where... So, but like, is that, is that not the assumption the that they had the exact same thing as us, though? Like, is that not the assumption that they're doing the exact same technology that we've done? Obviously much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, they just took it further and like you've seen like the things where human and AI merge and eventually just become pipes, right? Like a digital. Yeah, but I guess there's also arguments that they might invent something that we couldn't even comprehend or think of. Yeah, that makes sense. also that. Right, Yeah, like, but yeah, th that would be like- Their storage system or how they, they do something like that could be so much more like yeah. symbiotic with actual technology. Yeah. We've spread over the world and made it our own. Our technology be great, has been though. improving like to over time, I'd be in the first cloud. slowly, yeah. then breathtakingly fast. I'd be in Sim City. If these things don't change drastically, <laughs> and our descendants want to prosper, they will expand into space. We could construct a Dyson Swarm for endless energy and transform planets into new homes. We could cross interstellar distances, allowing us to reach for planets around distant stars. If we have the motivation, we can become a galactic so civilization. Crazy. A civilization Imagine the humans that, that does like this a, sort of stuff yeah. could be virus cool. on the universe. That would be. Hey yo, don't go Milky Way, bro. <laughs> they got, they got all the humans over on it, man. Joint. There's humans everywhere. Bro, humans everywhere. Then Agent Smith turns up. Humans are a virus. They'd call us saying kills probably. <laughs> the Milk Milky Way men. <laughs> Milky Way men, great. <laughs> because its activity creates noise, signs that can be detected from far away. Imagine someone in a forest cutting down trees, starting fires, and laying down roads. The more intense their work, the easier they are to notice. An expanding technological civilization would probably be hard to miss. Our telescopes would pick up all that energy, and we mm. would clearly identify artificial interference with stars and planets. Another consequence of this business is that it's very disruptive to the environment. Clearing a forest means the end of its wildlife. Human activity has left no chance for a squirrel civilization to appear. Not because we hated squirrels, it's simply that the thought that uh. they might want to do that at some point never crossed our minds, and we needed wood. Similarly, if loud True, civilizations actually were running... True, Yeah, yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're bad. <laughs> bad news. So hopefully there's like a little species out there that's secretly just doing some madness. Ants. What? I think ants getting crazy. <laughs> ants working hard, bro. They're proper ants strong. Ants are smart. Well, They're proper strong. they work as a hive mind. Uh, exactly. Time. So put them all together at once. Around the galaxy in the past, terraforming planets or harvesting the energy of stars, they may have prevented our existence. Had aliens started colonizing Earth while we were still sludge in the oceans, that sludge would never have turned into humans. This is how loud aliens create a deadline for new civilizations appearing. The galaxy may have trillions of years to create life, but there may only be a short window for it to spread and thrive. Even if a loud civilization Crazy. respects planets with naturally occurring life and expands around them like humans do with wildlife reserves, any civilization yeah. <laughs> on such a planet would not be able to expand ever. Trapped forever on a tiny island. But so here crazy. we are, so loud aliens were probably never here. What about aliens that don't expand? They would be quiet aliens. They're probably limited to one star system and don't have a noticeable impact on their cosmic surroundings. Humanity is like this right now. We wouldn't be able to detect ourselves from the other side of the Milky Way. Mm. If they stay quiet forever, maybe because of their culture or abilities, <laughs> then they are not <laughs> really it looks lit, man. I'm trying to go there. We only have one sample to draw from, humanity. 
And right now, we are on the path to becoming loud. If we're not special and succeed anyway, then any other civilization with the motivation and resources to would eventually expand beyond its planet of origin. It's like the plot line of Spore. Spore's is, a really good video game. Is, is it smarter for us to be quiet all the time? Yeah, that's what Stephen Hawking was always saying. He was like, we need to stop sending radio signals out into space and shit. We need to be quiet. We need to shut the fuck up. Because all that we've we known is that, All we've known is that, look, when... And his example was like, look at when um, the settlers landed in America. What did they do to the native Americans? They killed them, took their land, fucked them up, took power, took resources. Mm. Like, but that is assuming. But maybe they're so elite that they don't even care. Maybe they can't even comprehend our level. But then again, yeah, if they like. Well, then humans are so elite. That's a human ego, though. If, if aliens can come across galaxies to us, I really don't think they want what we have. What are the consequences of all these assumptions and ideas? Grave consequences. Oh God. Race to the stars. <laughs> If we are really early, then eventually others will catch up with us. Civilizations will emerge all over the place. And these new aliens will look at space, see no signs of life, and come to the same conclusion. They exist because loud civilizations have not yet taken over everything. But it only takes one loud civilization to crowd them out of the entire galaxy. So it's crazy, look how exponential technology and AI is at the moment. Yeah, yeah. like to be fair, look at There's a website we used to right? love uh, in school, it's like, called like futuretimelines.net and it always like, shows you like the acceleration of like humans and like what it could be predicted. You know what, if you look at the Earth as like model the Earth and the universe the same, mm. right, go back 2000 years and go into the forest or like go into the forest near London, then bang, skip forward a thousand years, not a long amount of time, re a tiny amount of time in the grand scheme of things. And bam, you've gone from a forest to a city, city. where there's so much going on. There's more than more going on in that city than you could have ever comprehended when you're in the forest with like nature and a couple of birds. But then you go a thousand so, years ahead and then it's yeah, like, another it, thousand it goes crazy. Years and yeah, like, but then from there, the right, go scale. go 30 years and it goes crazy. Because so, yeah. past 30 years, let's say time of my, in our time, lifetime, my it, time on the planet alone. An alien species could just go loud. Like imagine mm. there's already like 200 million of these fucking imagine aliens. That, imagine that like news, break, breaking news. <laughs> We just discovered fucking 580 million fucking aliens. We just realised there's fucking fucking, aliens. Yeah. We just realized there's literally a whole, like a whole, my voice, wow. There's a, there's a whole fucking solar system full of aliens that are going nuts. <laughs> going they're flying, they're flying nuts. around doing mad stuff. They even send some UFOs here every so often to have a look at us. Imagine you shot like a 10 minute warning, by the way. Like, oh yeah, we just seen this UFO heading towards planet Earth. I'm telling you, like at any point, I could click my fingers now, aliens could pull up. Bang. The universe is the 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 earth. Everything you learn towards is done, gone. Again. Yeah, genuinely, everything you think is important, bang, aliens pull up. You now work for the aliens. The whole your whole universe is changed. They, like us, will face an important decision: do they stay quiet, take it easy, and tend to their planet for as long as possible, or do they start expanding to take a chunk of the galaxy before someone else arrives? We don't want to stay quiet. Meeting others does we not necessarily can't. mean war or conflict, but it means that new borders will arise, limits that may persist forever. In the worst case, a civilization could be completely enveloped by the empires of others, eternally doomed to be a galactic backwater without control over their fate. Mm. So if we want a seat at the galactic adult's table, we best get to work. If we really are early, we have an incredible opportunity. We could be number to one. To thousands or even top, millions top of planets top according top. to our vision and dreams. And one day when we meet others, we can greet them and meet them as equals. Wouldn't that be nice? If you want to explore the vast yeah. universe yeah. from the comfort yeah. of your own home, the we've got a lot of amazing space and science Karen, inspired Karen, products Karen, for you. Karen. All of our products yeah, are right, designed to right, produce okay. with love and care by us here at Kotzkazakhs. Oh, there we go, Kotzkazakhs. Because I love these videos, you know, they're so sick. You could have watched a big moment, but then you actually got to watch the fact the planet could just end. Yeah, yeah, but th there's so much that we can't even comprehend. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. And it's a humbling and exciting experience. So that was the longest Sidemen reacts in a long, long time. But if you guys did enjoy it and want to see more, more, more of the Vic and Josh show, leave a like, let us know down below. And you got, you got, I mean, it's probably too late because most people have left, but. Help us run up some views on this video and then we can definitely make it more of a thing. <laughs>